Hey guys, as you can see, that's a big old hole in the mouth of Show Enough right there. Well, I think it's time to fill that hole, dust some dust off this old girl, try to get some more progress made. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling some new vigor, some new life. So let's get some stuff going. So today I got a little pile of goodies. Got a little tiny core here. We're gonna stick that up front as a radiator. I got a pair of some SPAL fans, some spalls. And these little things move some air for what they are. I've always liked the way that they move air, so. And I got just some material to, you know, adapt the end tanks to where I need to to get by the frame rails. And of course, my Dash 16 bungs to complete the ends for our coolant lines to hook to. All right, front bumper off. Yeah, yeah, I'm going for it here. We're gonna mount right out here, just a little further out than the end caps of the frame rails here. And that's so fittings and stuff can come off the ends, make it easier to plumb. I'm just gonna build a couple stubs that come off. A couple bolts just go right through it, huh? hold it right there, and then we'll build the upper mount. The radiator will be mounted, and then we'll figure out the plumbing for the sides. That's why the lift's low, so I can get down, cross the legs. Um, so that attaches to the lower bar. Yep. Okay. And then I can also build top mounts that come off of it as well. But it looks like I got to put the front bumper back on to see where I need to get my height for my reveal. Keep pushing. Yep, yep. Marking length on these for where I have to cut and notch these to attach them to the other bar. To get it where I needed, I need a little bit of a bend in them, so I put a bend in both pieces. And the end of these, I took an Allen head bolt that has, you know, a eight by 1.25 thread on it and sanded it down until it jammed into here and I pressed them into both of them. And then I'm also gonna weld those as well, but I'll do that when I do final welding. And these, I just need a notch now, and then we'll mount them to that crossbar in here. We'll get some notching done real quick, and then we'll go ahead and tack this on and get the lower mounts all situated here. And then we can figure out what we're gonna do on the top. Yeah. Those are fully welded around. I'll let them cool for a few minutes, then I'll turn them sideways in the vise, drill a hole on both sides and give them a rosette weld just so they're real solid. They're just holding a radiator. So next thing I need to do is just hit it with weld. And we'll consider these ones studded. I opted for studs versus nuts on the end because in the event of a nut rattling off, the stud will still be there to still hold the radiator up. It would just have forward to back movement. So as long as the front bumper was there, it shouldn't come forward enough to come off the studs. So that's why I opted to go with the studs as opposed to a bolt, whereas a bolt rattles out and the radiator could just drop straight down. So. At least that's what my head thought about. Solid engine, vibration, trying to go super fast. Yeah, let's keep that mounted. At the very start of that weld, I like to start without filler rod because I like to get the two metals to fuse together and then get them hot enough that they're actually cuddled. Then start adding the filler rod just so it's not like filling a hole over it, I want to make sure the two are actually bonded and that keeps it from vibrating that in. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's done. And I'll go ahead and bolt those and nut them down to the radiator. 
and get them ready to weld to the chassis. After holding this and where the drain was, I was thinking about using it for a vent. Then I didn't like this eighth inch plug being on the front. So I'm gonna switch this around and turn to the back. So I'm gonna take these tabs off and I just barely pushed on one. So see, they're only kind of welded on this front side here. Nothing on the back. So that's an open seam on aluminum. So aluminum is very, very easy to break off when it's an open seam. So just got a pair of channel locks, tighten it down to the tab size, and literally very gently push down and breaks the welds right off. And that's just because they didn't go around and finish the whole joint. If they would have finished that whole joint, it'd be pretty strong, you know, but they didn't on the front to give it clearance for the bolt, and they didn't on the back just to give it a clean line finish, which is definitely still strong enough just to hold the radiator. But I didn't like where they were, so I'm gonna go ahead and just snap these four off. Clean up, clean the welds off. Clean up a new spots on the other side. And I got some fresh material that I'll go ahead and weld on and make some new tabs real quick, so. Well, with just a couple tacks, it is now on the car. From here, I can keep on designing the way the rest of it is going to go on here. So I still got to change like some of the plumbing on this side. I'm going to be cutting off these bones, putting some inch and a, inch and a half pipe on here up to our dash 16s and then the plumbing for the top will go through that channel. And then this one here, I'll be getting a 16 welded on there. And then that one will wrap around this piece back through here, up and through this little hole because the pump is on the other side of the frame rail right here. Oh yeah. So sure enough, I'm gonna get this cooling system done. And then after I get these mounts all finished up, I gotta build a shroud to hold our two fans, so. Pretty cool stuff coming together. Well, since it's hanging here, let's go ahead and test fit the bumper cover real quick. Ah. Yeah. Well, that looks pretty good in there. Looks like an intercooler, but it's not. It's our radiator. Heck yeah, that fits nicely. I'm satisfied with that. So I'll go ahead and finish up the welds, build some top mounts, and then we'll move on to shroud and plumbing. All right, so uh, now that I got the radiator mounted, I need to make a fan, fan shroud. So I went ahead and measured the actual core dimensions on what I want the shroud to cover. And I came out to 23 and a half by seven. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw up my fan shroud on a flat piece of aluminum, and then we'll go ahead and cut it out, and then fold it up on the brake, and make a shroud. All right, so I just got done laying this out on here. So all these scribbled marks, that's all excess that needs to get trimmed away. This end's gonna be square. This end is gonna have a little bit of a kick to it. And then I just need to measure this length of line. And then we'll measure that out to here. And we'll be trimming a little bit off here, but I need to measure that for what the length of this will be. And then mark the bolt holes. And of course, cross centers of those are gonna be the center of my fan holes. And this piece of tube is darn close to the inside of that. So 
Went ahead and marked that so you guys could get a visual of it. Just about there. So now we're just gonna trim off the excess, trim out the holes, and then we'll fold it up. I'm done making aluminum shards fly everywhere with the porting tool. Uh, I got my holes all wallered out to the size they need to be. Woohoo! So next I just got all my pilot holes for all the mounting bolts. So I need to go ahead and drill those out to the nut search size and then put eight nut rivets in there. And then we can mount some fans on there. Yeah, then we just have to make some mounts to hold the shroud to the radiator itself. But here, let's go ahead and walk over here real quick. All right. Well, so there is what we got. Woo. Yeah, fits nice and flush up top. Should be pretty equally flush down on the bottom. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And I do have both fans offset to this side so they're clearing the fuel cell. All right, so got the holes all cut out and we're moving on to mounting the fans. So I got the radiator off. What was on the car, I also wrote which side was the top, which side the shroud went on, and then I also wrote the top on the shroud. That way I get the correct alignment since it's on the bench and I don't get all flipped around and welded the way I do not want to. So we will go ahead and set that down and we're gonna place the top to top on the shroud side. Real tight to the edge. I have these aluminum weld bungs that are set up for uh, an eight by 1.25 bolt. I'm going to put those on the end tanks and we'll weld those on. Then I'll use some strap on this end since this will be a perfect 90. And then this side I'll just take some aluminum that I used from the shroud that was cut off and put a break in it to match the angle and build the mounting tabs for this side. So I'm gonna get those all shaped out real quick and then we'll go ahead and weld those on and have a complete fan shroud. And then we'll move on to our plumbing on the dual pass side of the radiator here. All right, well now that we're all cut, so I've got this piece here and I have one mark on here. And what that was, was the center line this direction for my two bolts. So I just use my fingertip, get on the edge, line the Sharpie up with it, and scratch it over some, and then go to the other end for the other bolt. Now they should both have a matching depth. There's one bracket. I'll go ahead and take it over to the sander. I'm gonna round these two corners and clean it up a little bit. So that's one side, and then we'll go ahead and get the other side knocked out too.
All right, well, we got the fans bolted down with two, two tens, and I mean, the other holes line up. There you go, oh yeah. So, those are lined up, those are all in. So the shroud is actually attached and so are the fans. Almost there, now I just have to add a bung to the end here for the last radiator mounts and one to the other side as well and modify the inlet outlets and we're almost complete with this radiator all right so i just got done opening these holes up so i gotta just clean up the inner edges a little bit deburr them but let me show you what's going on so i got this pipe here it's a big old angle slash cut this thing get welded on right here Woo like that and I got this other little one here an index mark over here and it's gonna go on and then both of those will have dash 16s on them so that'll be the ins and outs oh yeah Nah, I ordered it off of eBay. It's pretty cool though. That looks great. Little tabs. Oh yeah, those little brackets and little framework. Oh, and it's on your little thing that you can take everything off of. Yep. So pull those two side bolts and all of this just comes right out. Heck yeah. So that's what you've been over here sneakily working on when no one's looking. Yeah, well, it's been quiet, so I've been getting stuff done. I, yeah, I like quiet cool. rooms. Yeah. <laughs> right. So you're awesome. I like being the noisiest guy in the room. Yeah, mix it up. <laughs> Looks good. Though. Awesome, yeah. I just wash the rest away with brake clean and stuff, but. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yep, and then the coolant will just shoot down the frame rail and connect right over here. Oh, yeah. So it'll just be a quick little scoop. And then this one cuts in right back in, right behind the tank here. And then it's got a 170 like degree or something, 60 degree to the pump right here that'll go out to that. Okay. So now we're ready to make some line. Or just about ready to make some line. Yeah, pretty darn close. So. Ooh, and after Ooh. line becomes some wiring, and after wiring becomes some running. <laughs> bum, bum. Yeah, it's almost there. It's good, you got the EGTs all on. A bunch of little things done. Yeah, just gotta finish up weight, uh, the wastegate recirculation. They're just going to go right back into the... Yep. That way we only have one hole. That's right. It's almost there. I dig it. Woo! Show enough. Show enough. About there. <laughs> Getting closer all the time. Sean's been working super hard on it. So, pretty stoked about all that. It's been awesome, man. We've been trying to get back to it for a minute now. But our workload has been been wild, and there's just what, four of us, so it's been pretty tough. So yeah. So we'll just keep on pushing, keep on trying. We made a little window, and you're doing another little push here. So you can't get it closer, and eventually rolling and running. And try to make the track this year. 
missed the goal, but 2020 has been a wild year and we haven't been able to do everything we want to do. Just like everybody else, we kind of kind of budget minded and think of everything, but we're getting close. The transmission's here, the clutch is here. We've got some dowels that you got coming or something to. Yeah, to get the bell housing lined up yeah, to within like you may a couple show hundred. What that what that entails, or that video will come up pretty soon. Um, of what you do to to get the transmission just perfect, so it's it's easy on the input shaft. I think that's about it, right? And yeah. Once we get the tranny, and then we make the dry shaft, we get all that going. So. Yep. So that'll be coming up soon too. So I'm looking forward to all that. This is cool. Good job, dude. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Everybody on. I think everybody watched the video. Drop a comment below and uh, let Sean know what you think of all this and uh, what you'd like to see next. So, right on. <laughs> Heck yeah. Well, guys, I got the radiator mount built, the radiator built, the tran fan shroud is all complete. So, I actually have that built. I'm excited to be moving on to the next part of the checklist. So, whatever that might be. Hope you guys tune in next time to find out what that's going to be and let's keep it moving on. Remember, like, subscribe, check out our merch at pfispeed.com. And like always, tell all your friends and keep watching. Thanks, guys. I can't hear you. Shut up! Wow, look at the front of that. Holy cow. It almost looks like a big old intercooler, doesn't it? It does look like an intercooler. Yeah. Being a bar and plate radiator. Yeah, being a bar and plate radiator. It's got a bitchin' look. Super fresh. Things are coming together. The bumper on it looks amazing. I can't get over it. It's starting to look like a car. So we we still got to try to take care of our wheels and, and ECU and wiring harness and shocks. So huge tickets, but we'll, we're working on it. We are trying like crazy, tuning like mad, putting cars together, and uh, trying to make this happen for everybody. It is awesome. But I'm getting super stoked about it all. Very much looking forward to it. That looks awesome. Good job, Sean. Thank you, thank you. You totally outdid yourself again. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I always try to do better. Yeah, I know. That looks good. I can't wait to see the hoses on. Yeah, this is just looking great. Looking forward to it, that's for sure. Showing up. Showing up, we're gonna work on getting it done.